Legacy Maker, the All Sports Network. Hello, everyone. It's Darrell Owens, Legacy Maker Sports Network, and I'm here to bring you the highlight of the day. The VCU Rams, the number two seed, taking on the number seven seed, Richmond Spiders, for the Atlantic 10 Baseball Championship live from Davidson University. Let's take you there. We'll take you to the top of the first where Will Carlone for VCU dumps it over the shortstop's head, and the Rams would score two runs to take an early 2 nothing lead over the Spiders. In the bottom of the second, DJ Pachinko will deposit a double over the head of the center fielder, and a run will score. Richmond will tie this ball game up two to two in the bottom of the second. Still in the bottom of the second, Christian Bill will send a sacrifice fly out to the right fielder. Sprague Lott would come in and score, and the Spiders have a 3-2 lead in the bottom of the second. In the top of the third, we got more of the Will Carlone show. He would take it deep for the Grand Slam, and the VCU Rams are up 6-3, to three, and that is the sixth RBI in this game for Will Carlone. The Rams are in full control at the top of the third. Just when you thought the Spiders might have been out of it, Jake L. Beery will dump one into left field, and a run will score, and this is a 6 Four contest. Bottom of the fourth, and Dominic Toso right up the middle for the Spiders, and two runs will score. And this game is tied up at six apiece in the bottom of the fourth. Top of the sixth, and the score is still tied. There's a wild pitch with the bases loaded, and Marcus O'Malley comes charging to the plate. He's safe, and VCU retakes the lead seven to six. Still in the top of the six. Remember that Will Carlone guy? Well, guess what? He wanted another RBI, and he would get just that. And that one drops into right field. A run will score, and this is a 9-6 ball game, and the Rams are starting to pull away. Bottom of the seventh. Spiders trying to crawl back in. Jason Neff drops one into center field, and a run will come and score, and it's a 9-7 game. Then Tyler Locklear for the Rams decides, you know what? It's time to put this one away, gone. And that one, a solo shot, makes this a 10-7 game. The Rams have a three-run lead in the top of the ninth. Then this would happen. 10-7 VCU. Swing and a miss. There will be no havoc here. The Virginia Commonwealth Rams go back to back. They're 8-10 champions. VCU would claim their second straight Atlantic 10 Baseball Championship and in such great fashion what a great game back and forth battle till the very end will carlone four for four one home run seven rbis for will carlone vcu tyler locklear will be named tournament's most outstanding player batting 818 throughout the tournament dominic toso four for five with two rbis for richmond just wasn't enough but a great effort by a richmond team that had to battle all the way through winning four games straight just to get to this championship. Congratulations to VCU on their 15th straight win as they get ready for the NCAA tournament. I'm Darrell Lawrence, Legacy Maker Sports Network. Thank you all for tuning in to the Legacy Maker Sports News update for May 28th, 2022.